So today I'm going to share you what you can prepare for appetizer before the big dinner day tomorrow. Also the uh, board that I'm using and finally it's arrived. I, I get because I want some new um, charcuterie board that I'm going to use for tomorrow. So this one is made with um, with bamboo actually you can uh, screenshot the name and also you can get this in Amazon and actually when you open it it's over here they have also included with the knife you have a small knife already for cutting the cheese and also the uh, a small um, pork or for all the goodies that I'm gonna put over here so this uh, charcuterie board it's bamboo made of 100% natural bamboo and also uh, finish it with the, a natural like grated natural oil to finish it it's organic made of organic so which is good to put your food especially appetizer because it's um it's raw right so you don't want to catch any chemicals on the uh food that you uh the board that you are using so this one is actually double purpose because as you can see um we got the compartment of the knife and the fork and also i have these two small um a compartment to put something that uh, fruits that I'm I'm gonna use over here is blueberries because it's you know the round one small it's really slippery so it's going to put in this side and so this is where you can use to for the uh, utensil when you finish it using so on the back of it is you can use it as a board for a cutting board right so this cutting board is um, usable for everything, but um, in my kitchen, the protocol, I have different board for everything. Like I separate the uh, cutting board for, um, for chicken, for meat, for vegetable, and some bread, and for bread. I don't use one board only for everything. So if I'm gonna use this cutting board, it must be gonna be vegetable. I'm really minimalist since I can use um, everything all in one. So this is perfect for double purpose, uh, cutting board, and also have all the compartment uh, also already for, uh, for also for appetizer to get a use, but I have the compartment for utensil. So when I keep it, that I'm not using it, I have it all together. So I don't misplace anything because that's really hard it's consuming time if you don't have all your things together and if you're looking around if you uh, lost it now you're wasting time for looking so put all the things together in one place and it, if you have the bags i don't throw boxes if i barely use it but i have already um space for this so i'm going to show you what i'm gonna put in here hey guys so since this is a natural um bamboo organic bamboo i'm gonna use a natural soap also and everything has to be healthy you make sure that everything you do is healthy good for your health you don't want to expose to a lot of chemicals for other things that you use so i'm using you know as you can see this um seven generation okay this is not a sponsored but I'm, I'm using it for my personal preference so i use that um and also, since this is natural and clean already, I just use hot water to drain it out, right? So um, the bamboo actually is really clean, but of course, it's from the manufacturing. Make sure you um, you really clean it too. So um, this is how it works. So actually, you're gonna uh, rinse it up, like sterilize it with hot water. Oh, it's hot, right? Because so uh, that way it kills some of the um, germs or whatever. Fat. So, um, and it's actually when you use hot water, it's not only sterilizing the things that you use, it's also pretty dry. But 
hey guys so this is my ingredients that i'm going to put in my charcuterie board which is start with the foods i have um, raspberry blueberries strawberry and um grapes cucumber uh this turkeys a uh, dried fig hummus is my dipping sauce for all of that and i have this and so i also blackberries mango some chips and this um crackers the boys like kind of um the graham which is sweet i don't know if that's but that's what they like so that's what i get for them and also this is what i use is the uh, multi-green crackers and my dad likes some soft ones so uh, this is only i found that are soft for him and i also have some nuts and then so let's see if this all will um put together in the small uh charcuterie board so anyway i will wash it first and um when i wash, i use this um kind of um to help wash like 98 percent of the chemicals out of this uh, food and you know contamination that's um are exposed to so that's helped me wash quickly so anyway so um let's see if it's built i'm gonna wash this first and then i'll see you in the next one please welcome back so to, so this time i'm finishing uh washing the uh, fruits and vegetable so i'm almost finished and what we're gonna do is just assemble it so as you can see i use this as a cutting board let me transfer it over here so um so i use this charcuterie board for a cutting board this one that are doable like uh to purpose because this is the charcuterie board that i'm gonna use and this is i use for cutting board so now i'm gonna just use it clip it up to use as a charcuterie board to assemble all i have um for appetizer for tomorrow for the holiday so anyway so as when i when i wash actually all the vegetable i like to have a big dishes because i put it all together in once that way you don't have much a lot of dishes because i love to cook but that's the only one i hate is washing dishes although i have a machine <laughs> to wash it but i'm still like just you know so i'll just assemble this and so um see as you can see it's over here all together so what we can do is start with i use gloves because um it's especially it's we're still covid and we don't want anybody to contaminate although i'm not sick or i don't have any health problems right now so anyway so we'll just put this one first i have um i have the um the fruits over here i think i might be over here so I think I have too much enough for, for this uh, board, small, but I wash it all because I, it's just economizing my time because I like it um, ready. When I use one thing, it saves time to clean it up and I just put container, the rest of it that I don't use and um, put in the refrigerator. So that way, on, if you're on the go, you have it ready, you just have to get the container and yes you are eating healthy so this time let's do it so as you can see i have two cucumber that are uh, small and big because i want everybody to um, make sure when um, they eat we have a protocol in the house that you only eat of what you can finish so you don't have to put any much on your plate unless you finish because you can just add more to your plate that um, um that you want more because when you especially nowadays because if you have it in plate you cannot get it back it's throw away so it's it's a waste right do you know that i'm uh, i was born in the third world country that we don't have much a lot of food compared to america that's everywhere have a lot of food and there's still a lot of um, children and people in my country in Asia that are really starving, that they really don't have food. So over here we have a lot and we have that protocol also. 
So I have something for you that I prepared that you might gonna like it. My use it depends on how you like for all the ingredients that I have. But you know that I what I prepare is mostly healthy, nutrient dense food, especially for the holiday. You want to make sure you're eating healthy and take care of your health and what you put in and take because what you're gonna it's like are your food is you are of what you eat like my my friend said um maha so whatever you eat and you can tell if you are healthy or not so make sure you have eating the right nutrients healthy food which i have for my appetizer is uh, made from mother ape most of them but since it's appetizer i have everything that um when the uh luncheon or dinner is not ready so we um, prepare the appetizer that's um, really healthy and before we get into the real food right so it's like kind of snacks you know um, this is the protocol here in America they serve appetizer first right and so what I have here I have multi-grain crackers it's what I use what I eat and what I use and I have um, crackers for my dad or that are soft because um when you eat something you want to make sure that everybody eats because it doesn't mean you have food that everybody will eat the food that you prepare so make sure that you know who's coming and what the food they're eating that way you can you can accommodate them for eating also because we want everybody to be happy and to eat good, especially we're celebrating Thanksgiving and we we'll want to be have fun and a joyful, memorable get together for gathering. So I have chips that are healthy from Waitins and uh, mango, grapes, strawberry, uh, fig. And the only cheese that I use is goat cheese with um, wrapped with cranberry and also um, I have uh, blueberry and blackberries. And I have hummus. So most of it is organic because I, you know, it's, if you guys are not into organic healthy way, if you, um, there's a 30 dozen that you can eat not really toxic and pesticide that don't have much pesticide and herbicide, if you can tolerate all of that, you, there's a conventional that are non-toxic, non-chemicals that are good for you, so just watch for that. Since I have a lot of food allergies, I don't eat that much because I, I won't um, function much if i exposed to those chemicals. So what I have in here is this is what I got for you guys for appetizer and you can have it ready for the Thanksgiving day. So this is just for your um, option. Eating healthy is the best because you get healthy. You don't want to get sick. So this is the best. And it's light because it's not trend dense. Food. So anyway, happy holidays, you guys. And thank you for everything. I want to say thank you for all of you that supporting me in any ways. I might not be thank you enough, but I appreciate everything you do that you become part of my life and have my growth